Welcome back to the Citadel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is a survivor multiplayer server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends and we are coming up on the latest project. We are building a giant farm at this fortress crossroads out here in the nether and it looks pretty cool now that we've started to put in the platforms and stuff and receive a whole metric ton of server lag. <laughs> Although it made for a better landing. So hey, I'll take it. Uh, but what we are doing today is uh, hovering over this uh, flaming pit of death and putting in these ice platforms. There are three that have to go in, one here, one there, and then one three blocks lower. I've also got a bunch of terracotta and some other things that we have to sort out. Uh, so that is on the agenda. We're also gonna try to find a spot to put like a workroom. And I'm thinking maybe like right along here, we might just put like a temporary encased space where we can be safe from ghasts and all kinds of stuff like that. So I think that's going to be the first thing we do. And then after that, we will move on to the platforms. Whoa, we've got a friend. That's the first time that we've had one of those spawn. At least we know it works. The way that this farm works, it is centered around uh, the center of the crossroads. And we are in the center of the crossroads here uh, on the uh, fortress. And which is this block right here. So the middle ice platform is centered on the middle of the crossroads. And so I have to go out a number of blocks in each direction and uh, building in the middle here, this is solid, but then uh, these are trenches. So all of this is gonna be removed. And then the ice platforms are actually gonna be on the uh, east, no, north and south, I think. Yes. So the north and south sides are going to have the ice platforms here and there. Oops. And, and then this up the middle is actually going to go back to being just solid nether brick uh, because there's going to be some flying machines and some other fancy redstone that happen here in, in the midst of it. So I'm going to leave this lit for now just so that I know what's what. Uh, and I think temporarily when I'm done putting these ice buckets or ice uh, platforms in, I'm going to put slabs on top of them just for now, just to keep things from spawning and causing us grief. Uh, but that should be the first thing. So I'm gonna do these two platforms uh, or maybe even just the top one first. And then I'm gonna put another rack box around this so that we don't have to have a problem with ghasts because I think it's gonna save us some headaches uh, down the line. Speak of the devil, it's these kind of guys that I really don't wanna have to deal with at all ever again. Can anybody in the chat hear the crazy machine whirring that's going on in the background? Somebody outside is like grinding metal or something. And it sounds loud to me, but I don't know if you guys are um, are hearing that too. I'm looking forward to it as well. I think that VR and No Man's Sky um, in general are gonna be excellent additions to the stream. Cause like, like I said last time, I'd like to be more than just a Minecraft streamer. I'd like to try and broaden the spectrum of stuff that I do and uh, VR art is very, very interesting to me. I really feel like that's gonna be kind of what, what happens next. Can nether mobs spawn on ice? Yes, they can. As long as they are in the fortress bounding box. Um, it's something to do with the crossroads box. If you put blocks like way out there, I think they have to be uh, nether brick for the skeletons to spawn on it. But in this particular box, it's still within the fortress. And then within the fortress, they'll spawn on anything that's solid. Uh, and this is packed ice. So that's, that's the deal there. And we decided last stream, much to my surprise, that the diorite wall actually looks the best nestled amongst the ice. It should be two, then wall, then two, then wall and then i have to start ripping this stuff out like that and like that it's hard to see because you're looking down at down at an angle but i do have like a safety net down there that we did last stream like that and then two wall whoops two well, and then it should be two and we're at the end. Excellent. All right, let's double check this. I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there is 
a row of black nether brick on the outside of it. So I might as well put this back in because it'll make it easier to walk. And we're still just barely over the, the safety net down there. So this should go all the way around this single row of nether brick. It should go there. There is a certain satisfaction to taking out big chunks of stuff, especially when it's this fast. I, I find the tedious stuff when it's like you have to wait for the mine, but anything that you can insta mine is, is kind of a fun. It's like having a machine gun, right? Just blah, 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 blah. That was my incredibly accurate machine gun impression for anybody that was not paying attention. I feel bad though because this kind of landscape is rare and it's also very cool looking. So there's a couple of big ones on Infinity Cove. One of the cool things about the Infinity Cove server, which is the, the Citadel um, community server where, where some patrons play, is uh, the, the number and proximity of rare biomes on that seed compared to where everybody is starting off. Everything is like really close, like within a thousand blocks or 1200 blocks at most uh, on on the overworld to get to like ice spikes and mesas and eroded mesas and like really cool looking places that have really unique blocks. There's a uh, there's already bamboo. It's only been around for two weeks. Somebody's already found a jungle biome and and got some bamboo going on. Super, super cool. Uh, no, there's no magic glow. I have turned off my enchantment glow. It's a custom texture. I just made it completely invisible uh, because it makes the potions easy to tell apart. Uh, I really think it's silly that all the potions are different colors and yet they put a purple enchantment glint over all of them that just makes them look kind of like glowy magenta and you can't tell them apart. See, Matt Cass called it. I dislike the glow. My, my weapons don't glow either. Nothing does. My armor doesn't. All my stuff is enchanted, but nothing glows. It's silly. If it was if it was made to be like a, I don't know. If it had a different color, like a fire resistance had like a, a, a orange color, stuff like that, that would be cool, but it doesn't. It's all just silly and purple. You can't tell stuff apart. If you, if you had different glows on armor in your inventory, like if fire resistance would glow orange or red and, and, and protection would glow purple, then like that, that I could understand, but having them all be the same is just tedious. One, two, three. Grab some glowstone. Two, three. So this right there, is our platform level. All the way up to there. It's very satisfying to dig through these fortresses and just like mine through them. I don't know why. I think it's because they're so intimidating in the early game. Cool. So that is one big sheet of ice done. And now we can go through and punch out these. So it's one, two, three, and then there, one, two, there, one, two, there. And then just one, two, there, there, there. And I think these are the last ones. I should have done this the first time. That is so much faster. <laughs> My goodness. So much faster than building it brick by brick. The things you learn, I guess, when you do, when you've not done like massive farms like this. We accomplished quite a bit. We have three floors of the farm installed. We've got a lot of uh, torches and slabs and stuff out there trying to prevent uh, unwanted spawns from happening while we're working on things. We also have this uh, very rudimentary nether rack box that we're gonna put around this thing for privacy from the unwanted ghasts uh, as, they, as they come by and try to destroy everything that we've worked so hard to do. I wanted to get these platforms in today just because I wanted to wrap my head around the scale of the farm. And so I wanted to see what it looked like, know where I wanna put like the outer, outer walls. I think I'm gonna encase the whole thing in glass 
netherrack for now temporarily and then glass eventually once i know exactly how big i want that box to be the uh the collection system is going to be down below that has actually all been filled in we did that on one of the first streams so all of this is solid sand underneath slabs um, so depending on what we do with all the collections items we can actually deal with them all down here and we've got that all the way down to the bottom of the lava lake it's about eight blocks deep i think but uh, unfortunately i've run out of time so we're gonna have to break here for now it's a huge project so it's gonna be a few i think a few videos of putting this together but i'm quite happy to do it i love having nothing but one big project right now to work on i've been talking about doing this farm for a while and i'm really looking forward to learning about all the redstone and and doing that from now on but uh, that's gonna be it for me you can find everything that i am up to at joelduggan.com you can follow me on twitch and youtube slash joel duggan and of course you can follow me and support the work that i do on patreon at patreon.com slash joel duggan that is where you can find the infinity cove it's my patron only server there's a number of people that are playing on there right now and it just launched two weeks ago we did a tour on twitch uh yesterday or the day before and it was really really fun things are coming together quickly so if you're interested in a server that is uh got a lot of people on it that are of like mind super chill minecraft players then uh, check that out and let me know what you think. Last but not least, we're going to be recording a new episode of The Spawn Chunks very shortly, so keep your eye out for that. That's going to be at spawnchunks.com. I will see everyone here next time. Bye.